Good morning, my name is Josh from Cyclone Zoz and here is your detailed forecast update for November 9th, 2024. We've got a lot to be getting through today. We're going to talk about a week-long severe thunderstorm outbreak expected to begin from tomorrow across southeastern Queensland. We'll talk about some heavy rainfall also forecast to materialise into the northeast of New South Wales and across Queensland. We'll talk about thunderstorms forecast to lash interior parts of the nation and we'll also touch on that heatwave that's still impacting areas across parts of central Queensland extending into the Northern Territory. All of that plus more coming up in today's with a forecast. If you are brand new to the channel, please consider subscribing. The support lately has been much appreciated. So let's now talk about southeastern Queensland. Those thunderstorms last night busted out big time, and that was because of cloud cover. It just refused to let the ground heat up, and as such, we had some pretty abysmal evaporation across parts of Queensland, and as such, some pretty abysmal thunderstorms. We did get a couple of thunderstorms and some stronger ones far up outside of Rolleston and Kingaroy on the into the um, outside areas of southeastern Queensland. But the hotspots that we were expecting outside of Warwick and even into the Brisbane metro area, I mean, nothing really materialised there, unfortunately, and left a lot of people quite disappointed. And we should have seen it coming with that cloud cover just building. Uh, it did look like it was going to inhibit thunderstorms, but for the most part, it should have cleared throughout the course of the morning and let way for some better evaporation. Unfortunately, it didn't, and people were left very disappointed with the amount of thunderstorms that they did end up receiving. Not to worry, however, we've got more severe thunderstorms expected to fire up right throughout the course of this week. We'll get a patch of thunderstorms far up on the northern parts of the um, Sunshine Coast up towards Bundaberg and Agnes Water later on tonight, but they will likely to be non-severe and nothing impacting the Brisbane area or the Gold Coast area until tomorrow night when we will see a nice batch of thunderstorms fire up outside of Warwick and Toowoomba. Inland from the scenic rim and the Brisbane suburbs, we will see some thunderstorms fire up into the northeast of New South Wales as well, outside of Lismore at around 5 or 6 p.m. And then thunderstorms also expected to dot the scene out towards in June, Jericho, Tambo, and the locations deeper into central parts of Queensland. Those thunderstorms there are li unlikely to be severe. The severe thunderstorms, if they do materialise, will be outside of Warwick and Toowoomba. Nothing crazy is expected tomorrow night. These thunderstorms will continue to um, impact areas later on into the night till about 9 or 10 p.m. until they do finally start to ease off a little bit. We'll likely see very slow moving thunderstorms, so the risk of heavy rainfall is certainly going to be there. And I am expecting some pretty high uh, rainfall accumulations to the 9 a.m on Monday morning across parts of uh, southeastern and central Queensland up towards Chinchilla, Kingaroy and Taroom. We will see some good rainfall accumulations out there, uh, which is great to see because these locations are just very thirsty at this time. They do really need some water. So 50 millimetres of rainfall from thunderstorms, even though it will happen in a very short amount of time and likely a lot of that will result in runoff, it will still be very welcome filling up dams and tanks. So some good news on the forecast now for these locations out here. And it does look like a pretty solid round of good news as well. I mean, there's going to be enough thunderstorms out there that for the most part the majority of locations are going to get some healthy rainfall on Sunday night into very early Monday morning and it's unlikely that a lot of locations are going to miss out which is great news it's not been something that we've been able to forecast for quite a while uh, in terms of rainfall for a widespread um, swathe of locations across the southeast of Queensland. Monday's going to be another interesting night we've got some big severe thunderstorms on the forecast down into the northeast of New South Wales outside of the aptly named Lightning Ridge, Moree, Inverell as well. We'll see some very nice severe thunderstorms outside of there. And then extending up into the south central parts of Queensland outside of Warwick and Toowoomba, we'll also see some good severe thunderstorms there uh, later on Monday afternoon and evening. Large hailstones, heavy rainfall damaging and locally destructive winds. And if we do get supercell thunderstorms, the risk of twisters is also going to be there. Certainly some uh, powerful storms are expected Monday afternoon. I mean, just take a look at this uh, snap of the radar imagery or what it's expected to look like. Some very heavy rainfall is now on the cards. So There's going to be a lot of instability in the atmosphere, a lot of humidity and just perfect setup in terms of wind speeds for a lot of these locations and as such we're going to see a nice outbreak of severe thunderstorms on Monday night. Certainly going to be the most intense day for severe thunderstorms over the next week. We'll also see some good thunderstorms firing up outside of Tambo and Charleville in the more centralised parts of Queensland and thunderstorms expected along a line extending up towards Longreach, Winton and even out towards Mount Isa and then deeper into the Northern Territory we'll see some thunderstorms out there so a pretty widespread swathe of south Central and then into Western Queensland, also expecting the chance of thunderstorms. In terms of impacts of the Brisbane metro area and the Gold Coast, they will be minimal at this time on Monday afternoon. Still, some good showers are possible, especially in the Brisbane metro area. We will see some showers and the chance of a storm as well on Monday afternoon, with a chance of up to 15 millimetres expected. We've also got some good rainfall and definitely some thunderstorms expected out towards Toowoomba and Warwick. We could be seeing up to 30 millimetres in either of those locations, and I think the rainfall is going to be heavier 
the further out you get into the central parts of Queensland as well. So on top of the rainfall that these places are going to get on Sunday, they'll get even more on Monday. Overall, this is just looking like a very good forecast with some very wet weather on the cards. And of course, into the northeast of New South Wales, even down towards about Newcastle and the Barrington Tops, we're going to see severe thunderstorms dotting the area and the radar um, imagery right through Monday afternoon and evening, and some strong severe thunderstorms are expected at that. Thunderstorms will persist into Tuesday morning and then into early Tuesday afternoon. We'll see another line of thunderstorms fire up between uh, Stanthorpe out towards Charleville, just along this line here, cutting through St. George and Thallon, north of the uh, Queensland New South Wales border. And these thunderstorms here could also be severe before they upscale later on Tuesday night into a bit of a squall line and then dance up towards Injun, Rolleston, Taroom, Chinchilla, and those areas. We will see some good thunderstorms out there. Lots of lightning, some more ra uh, rainfall is also expected. I think the risk of hailstones isn't going to be as high on Tuesday. In fact, the risk of large hailstones right throughout the course of this week doesn't really look like it's going to be there in all of its glory, for especially this time of the year across parts of Queensland, until at least Wednesday, when we will see some actual severe thunderstorms fire up, some really nice ones, um, the ones that we will typically see for this time of the year. But the thunderstorms on Monday and Tuesday just look to be more of a wind threat and a rainfall threat, as opposed to a large hailstone threat. Just uh, that's kind of the forecast at this time. Things can change and we'll definitely have a look at these thunderstorms in much greater detail on the day and when they are expected. Wednesday is going to be another very stormy day. The Sunshine Coast expecting to be battered by some strong thunderstorms. Again, severe thunderstorms expected right down towards Grafton and Coffs Harbour. And then a second area of severe thunderstorms expected inland into central Queensland out towards Roma and Injun once again. And more severe thunderstorms expected into the northeast of New South Wales outside of Tamworth, Armidale. And then extending down the coastline towards Newcastle and the Barrington Tops. And some good storms also expected on both Tuesday and especially Wednesday across inland parts of New South Wales. I know a lot of places, especially out towards Dubbo Parks, Young, Orange, uh, this, just this general area of New South Wales, they're desperate for some rainfall at this time. And some thunderstorms now in the forecast for Wednesday. So overall looking really good in terms of the chances of some rainfall for those locations. It is thunderstorm, so it is going to be pretty hit and miss the rainfall for some of those locations. But at this time, it certainly does look uh, more likely than not that quite a few places are going to pick up at least 15 millimetres of much needed rainfall. These thunderstorms refuse to let up on Wednesday either. You can see they uh, last really late into the night, causing some pretty significant problems in terms of the potential for flash flooding, some hailstones as well, especially on Wednesday, and damaging winds persisting into early Thursday morning. Another outbreak expected on the northern parts of the Sunshine Coast and out to central parts of Queensland, up towards Rockhampton and Ogmore. The thunderstorms out uh, there on Thursday night, though, are going to be very hit and miss. More storms expected on Friday more storms on Saturday and more storms on Sunday. We're heading uh, deeper and deeper into the mid parts of November and it's going to be just a really stormy round just in general for this part of Queensland and into New South Wales. Uh, typical weather for this time of the year. Another nice outbreak of thunderstorms expected on Monday the 18th but that's looking really deep into the future and something that we will touch on at a later date. But yeah, all in all for the southeast of Queensland a five day severe thunderstorm outbreak is expected until Thursday the 14th and that's, this outbreak is going to begin from tomorrow night. So certainly some good storms expected, something to get very excited for if you're a thunderstorm lover because these thunderstorms, especially into the more central south parts of Queensland outside of, I mean, Chinchilla, Taroom and Injun, spring to mind at this time for a hot spot for thunderstorms. If you live in this general area here that I'm circling with the cursor, you've got five days of thunderstorms coming your way. Very exciting stuff indeed if you do enjoy uh, that kind of stuff. And rainfall accumulations very healthy as well across parts of southeastern Queensland and into the northeast of New South Wales. Um, very uh, good indeed. We can see rainfall accumulations up towards 150 millimetres outside of Brisbane, Warwick and Toowoomba, uh, and then down towards Inverell and Tamworth into the northeast of New South Wales, up to 140 or 150 millimetres of rainfall over the next 10 days expected out there. And it's reciprocated between the other forecast models as well. You can see the Axis G3 and the Eastman BF pretty much neck and neck in terms of how much rainfall is expected. Just a couple of millimetres of a discrepancy between the two forecast models, uh, which means that for the most part, rainfall is going to be very healthy over the next 10 days. Days. And just flicking it back to the eastern left, you can see Roma expecting 50 millimetres, Brisbane expecting about 80 millimetres. The majority of that will fall uh, after about Tuesday for Brisbane and the Gold Coast, but still some good showers expected on Monday and Tuesday. Uh, some rainfall also extending up to Bundaberg as well, up to 25 millimetres over the next 10 days. And the majority of that's going to be uh, later on in towards next weekend and into early next fortnight. And the rainfall extending deeper into Queensland as well, which will give a little bit of reprieve from those very warm temperatures that we're seeing across central parts of Queensland land at this time. 
Now, I would love to go very in-depth about every single severe thunderstorm that's expected to fire up over the next five days. Well, my plan in covering this is going to be to give day-by-day -day very detailed forecast updates. And as such, there's no real thunderstorms expected tonight, uh, no severe thunderstorms at that. And the ones that do fire up will be further north, up towards the central Queensland area and the Wide Bay area in the Capricorna district. Uh, but day-by-day, -day, I'll break down these thunderstorms in great detail. There's just way too much to be talking about in one video over the next five days. But if you do have specific questions or comments, please do leave them in the comment section down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. But yeah, certainly some good thunderstorms expected over the next couple of days. Certainly something to get very excited for if you are a fan of thunderstorms. And here's another popular map, the convective available potential energy. A lot of people really do look at these values and take them quite seriously. Unfortunately, the number is a little bit more of an arbitrary number, but still you can make sense of what thunderstorms are expected just based off how intense the colours are. And you can see uh, in terms of these reds that we're seeing on the map here, which indicate very high high convective available potential energy values and as such a lot of instability in the atmosphere especially on Wednesday night which is kind of the uh, peak time for these severe thunderstorms on the forecast you can see that we are expecting a lot of instability and some prime conditions for severe thunderstorms to fire up especially like I said Wednesday and Thursday the 13th and the 14th of November so uh, we will certainly be taking a look at this in greater detail and I'll be giving detailed forecasts every single day on these thunderstorms uh, but yeah just um, food for thought at this time it certainly does look like like a very favourable setup for some of these uh, thunderstorms. Certainly something that I would be very interested in if I lived in, lived in southeastern Queensland in terms of making sure that I was ready for some of these storms. Now, just before uh, we talk about more in-depth tropical stuff, here's just a general rainfall outlook for uh, the tropical areas of Australia. Apart from the southeast of Queensland, the only other areas of standout rainfall, unfortunately, remains the northwest of Western Australia. And as such, areas in Queensland and parts of the Northern Territory are starting to fall below the typical rainfall that they have for this time of the year. Now, we are talking about tropical rainfall, so not only is it notoriously unpredictable, but it is uh, also uh, just very temperamental. It seems to have a mind of its own and uh, has a very specific uh, idea on when it wants to fall. However, we do have rumbles of activity on the GFS forecast model, and we've been talking about this for the last couple of days. Uh, it does look like some rainfall is on the cards for far north Queensland in the very later parts of November and then into the first week of December. I mean, you obviously can't see it on this picture here because the forecast on windy doesn't run out that far. But I mean, we are looking at enhanced tropical convection and enhanced tropical moisture over the Solomon Sea and around Vanuatu and Fiji. And the way this stuff moves, it moves slowly towards the west. So this stuff about 10 days after this picture here, which is Monday the 18th of November, will likely be on top of far north Queensland. And as such, the first week of December will kick off their first week of proper rainfall. Certainly something that I'm very excited to be talking about. And that's going to keep us very busy with uh, thunderstorms in southeastern Queensland and then a heavy uh, batch of rainfall expected for the north parts of Queensland. Certainly something that's going <laughs> to keep a lot of weather... Um, content creators on their toes, that's for sure. But yeah, certainly looking pretty interesting for parts of Queensland into the long-term future. In the short-term future, however, the rainfall is reserved for the northwest of Western Australia and into parts of the Northern Territory as well, which is good because it does take the edge off that heat, which they're currently experiencing. Certainly some very warm temperatures are being reported over the last couple of days across the northwest of Western Australia. And that rainfall also making itself felt deeper into WA and then parts of South Australia and the Northern Territory, which leads me on to a severe thunderstorm outbreak that's going to begin from this afternoon across central parts of Australia. So outside of Ayers Rock, Yallara and then Alice Springs, we're going to see an outbreak of thunderstorms later on tonight, some of which could potentially be severe with damaging winds and heavy rainfall. And then tomorrow night we will see a line of severe thunderstorms starting to develop between Warburton and Eucla into the extreme eastern parts of WA and then extending into the western parts of South Australia outside of Minterby, uh, Maralinga and then across towards Cooperpedi and Roxby Down. Some good thunderstorms expected out there, which could bring some heavy rainfall, damaging winds and an even some large hailstones as well. Now this is a very remote corner of South Australia and in fact the area that I'm currently circling right now uh, would have less than 10,000 people currently residing and travelling through it and it's a massive swathe of land so this really doesn't affect too many people. However these thunderstorms are going to pack a punch so if you are travelling through the area I'd recommend giving this area just a miss. If you head up towards sort of um, Ayers Rock and then further north up towards Docker River and some of the locations deeper into the Northern Territory you will be fine in terms 
terms of um, minimal thunderstorm impacts. I'm just a little bit concerned with the amount of rainfall that's expected to fall across this part of South Australia from some of these thunderstorms. It could make an absolute mess of some of these roads in here. So that's just a little bit of word of advice, certainly something to keep in the back of your head. And if you are planning on traveling through this area on Monday morning, certainly check up with the road authority in South Australia and even into Western Australia as well, staying on top of main roads outside of Warburton. I mean, there's probably only about two gravel tracks that run through this area, but they certainly could find themselves in a little bit of trouble in terms of being mashed up by this amount of rainfall uh, by Sunday evening and into early Monday morning. Uh, a lot of instability across parts of WA and South Australia just from that heat, which leads us nicely into the heat wave forecast, but you can see temperatures are soaring still throughout this part of Australia. Typical weather for this time of the year where we're seeing days up towards 45 degrees, but still uncomfortably hot for some of these locations. And the temperatures up towards 42 or 43 are now extending into Queensland and even parts of New South Wales as well. So it is very, very warm, even for this time of the year, uncomfortably hot for quite a few locations, which I mean, typical for the Australian summer, but it has started a couple of weeks early. Normally it's by this part of November into the later parts of November even when we start to see those really warm days start to materialise across WA and into the Northern Territory. And you can see one is expected to materialise on Thursday where we're expecting tops up towards 46 for Marble Bar and then up towards 47 or 48 outside of Port Hedland and 80 Mile Beach. Uh, certainly some very warm temperatures expected even for this time of the year where we're looking at maximum about eight degrees Celsius above average. On that note, that basically does it. Another detailed forecast update. If you've got any questions or comments, especially on those thunderstorms over the, in the southeast of Queensland, then please do leave them in the comment section down below, and I'll go through as many of them as I can throughout the course of today. A special shout out to the channel sponsors. Their names are on screen right now, and I could not run this show without them. And again, their support is much appreciated. And the list keeps growing day on day, so thank you so much to all of their support. Uh, but that is all for me today, and I'll catch you all in the next storm. Goodbye.